uh, little story here. When Lee went to jail, he hit the leg on the neck and he broke his neck with the tin and he battered the other's arm and he got remanded at, when he battered Tapper, who put through petrol and we tried to set him alight. Lee battered him, made a mess of him and he got remanded for it, but he got out. Because the judge, in the end, the judge said, well, if he never hit him, he wouldn't have... He wouldn't have been able to, he wouldn't have been able to stop him lighting the match and setting him alight. So they actually let Lee out after that. So Lee's out. So he's out. He's running about. So um we we we're all over the, the place, running about different places. And um he's not allowed to go in Middlesbrough drinking in any pubs. That was his in his bail conditions, not allowed to be in Teesside drinking. Could be go in it, we couldn't go in any pubs, not allowed to go in any public houses whatsoever, or betting office, I think it was as well. So that was his bail condition. So we had to go to we had to go up to Stokesley. So we go to Stokesley and we got there and there was other there was a big lad there, my pal, who was with Lee on the night when he died. And uh, he was there with us and there was about there's about fifteen travellers in there. Stokesley's full of travellers. But I got on with most of them because I used to box with a few of the lads up there. And they were talking because when you go in they're going about racing pigeons, they're going about fucking whippets, grounds, lamping. Lampons where you get the um the dogs and you go you get a lamp and you turn it on you see the rabbit that sees it and you know the rabbit and the lights and the dogs chase it and kill it and that's how they get the rabbits on farmers land and that's so talking about that I was doing my fucking end. So when I went this time I said, No talking about pigeons, no talking about fucking horses, no talking about grounds or dogs, no lamping and out, just talk about anything else but not, not to do with that. So we sat at the table by now there's about twenty of us in this pub. No one's saying that. <laughs> Lee said, let them talk about fuck, let them talk about the fucking horses or that. Anyway, he said, fucking talk about the horses. Anyway, they started talking after that. That was a lady. So we sat at the table. And there was this fucking arsehole going, no, twice as big as him. You could fight him. And Lee could hear what he's saying. At least in that, like, 20 of us on these big loads of tables. Horrible little fucking was. It's like trying to call drunk, full of drink. You could easily bigger than him. You better. You threw him all over and you done this to me. And I said, look, me and Lee are best of friends. Why don't you fucking shut up? She so kept going on and on anyway, fucking, I thought Lee was going to hit him. I was going to slap but I didn't. I mean, one of the travellers got up and just went, boof, right in the ribs. Give him a body shot and he broke his fucking ribs and threw up all over because he hit him with a body shot. Threw him out the pub. So we were there anyway, fucking, um, in the pub with Lee. But he wasn't allowed, like I said, to go to Middlesbrough. So he said, oh, let's go to the Blues. I said, no, you got to get Nick's if you got the fucking Blues. He went, no, I'll be all right, let's start a pub, is it? So he goes to the Blues in Middlesbrough. And he goes in, this is where he'd been shot in the Blues. Twice he'd been shot in there. He's outside, he's got me fucking picking cars up again, going, Bra Tra show me you can pick a car, can you pick a car, Brian? But every time I went out, he used to do it. He had me at Stokesy doing it. I used to get the beer mats, the beer mat in each hand, because in the old days, the bumpers were metal and they were bolted on, so that you could lift them, but the cars were the weird fucking really heavy. So I used to be able to get like a beer mat, no paper beer mats, like cardboard, put them under, because you cut your hand the, the, underneath the, the bumper, because it was quite sharp. Or he'd get a t shirt and do it. So I'd pick the car up and rep it like, you know, deadlifting like that. And he's fast. Duffy had me doing it all over the place. Stephen Sayers had me doing it in fucking Newcastle, Michael. Fucking two o'clock in the morning outside the Madison's fucking lifting cars. And then sitting in the Tamsers, uh, their fish Tamsers going, You can't pick the car up. I said, I can't pick the car up. And he's going to he's, he's watch this thing. He's up with the car, lifting the car up with, with the Tamsers up in there. I think he's good lads as well, mother good kids. So anyway, we're out in the blokes. And Lily really went, You know what? This is the safest I've been since I've been with you. I've been with him about a month by this time. I was probably with him 14 weeks hauling, but he was still coming to see me in jail. So it's still you know, coming to jail. So it was about 16 weeks. I'm uh, sorry, yeah, about 16 weeks. Then he, got, then he got killed, obviously. But um, yeah, I was with him for 14 weeks. But he said, you know what, big fella? For f the last four weeks I've been with you, not one person's tried to have a fight with me. Not one person's tried to murder me. <laughs> not one person's come at me with any weapons. There's no gangs looking for me, nothing since I've got with you. My fucking life, brilliant. He said, there's no fucking day doing it since you've come. I was saying, well, there's nobody after me. He said, yeah, but look at all the things that happened to me before you come along. So he's like, because he's dead, he used to get dead emotional, like Duffy. He, he really did. He was dead soft, you know, like, stuff like that. And he did when he had, when he, had he, he didn't drink. He didn't swear in front of women. He didn't swear in front of the kids. And he wasn't really aggressive in that way but towards people when he was fighting. He was like, just calm, not really calm when he was fighting. So, yeah, we are just in the blues, full of, full of ecstasy and trying to get the older people they were a night by age now, they're like 58, you know, so have a knee, have a knee. <laughs> Probably have killed them and given them a knee, but yeah, just another story, me laying in the day in the blues, having a good laugh. 
and he's outside chatting box on the wall that he's said a box that he's best about with me and grabbed me and cuddling me and all that stuff. Yeah, we had a good laugh that night, but uh, yeah, sadly he's no, no, no longer here. But uh, yeah, guys, just another story in the day, me and the Duff in the town having a bit of fun, selling ecstasy, dancing about like two school kids. Uh, don't forget to push the like buttons, guys. Love you all.